Idris Ali with Reuters. Follow up, are you making any adjustments in expectation that w if President Trump does pull out, that they will re the Iranians will react um, in a certain way? Well, you're asking me to speculate. Um, the period through May is a busy time with many th things going on in the political space. Uh, as I said, we continually uh, reassess the threat to forces uh, with what's going on. Uh, and we'll adjust as necessary. Uh, we're confident that we'll retain the uh, security of our forces operating in Iraq and Syria. Next to Laurie Milroy with Kurdistan 24. Um, thank you, sir. Uh, my, uh, several questions. My first question, Ambassador Ryan Crocker, who's sort of a legendary figure because he was General Petraeus' partner during the surge in Iraq, decades earlier, served in Beirut, when the embassy was bombed, the Marine barracks was bombed. And he recently cautioned that there was seemed to him to be a similar vulnerability with coalition troops in Syria because there were so few of them, but you had the same enemies, namely Syria, Iran, and their proxies aligned against the coalition and was concerned about the vulnerability of those troops. You don't share that concern? I'm, I'm absolutely confident that we uh, can manage the force protection to our troops. Uh, and, and let's be clear, our focus is absolutely on defeating ISIS. And we're doing that by fighting alongside a partner force in the Syrian Democratic Force, and that is enabling us to defeat ISIS in those final areas that they hold. My second question, you said that ISIS had a privileged leadership and they had fled. What do you, did you mean by privileged leadership and could you describe the leadership of ISIS and any other, other qualities of leadership of ISIS? Well, I think what we've seen recently is ISIS leadership deserting uh, and at times leaving with resources and leaving their fighters without effective leadership because they can. Next to Lucas Thompson with Fox News. General, is, uh, is it the belief of the coalition that the Iran nuclear deal needs to remain in place to keep the focus on ISIS? Well, well you're asking me to speculate uh, on, on, a, on a political level issue, which I'm not going to. Uh, as I've said, our focus and the focus of Operational Roundup is absolutely to defeat ISIS and liberate the final areas east of the Euphrates River. If the deal falls apart, does that hurt your mission, General? Well, as I said, we continue to assess uh, whatever this context that we work in, and you're asking me to speculate on, on something that we simply don't know about at the moment.